career in ESL or EFL teaching, options qualifications beyond the TEFL certification. I've been asked what options are there beyond TEFL as just a simple gap year exercise. Well, let's take a look and find out. Uh, for this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Rochelle Gamlin uh, for the original story. Um, and a little bit of background about me first. I started off in EFL with a non-education related qualification. Um, and sort of fell into teaching English as a foreign language accidentally. Um, I'm... A Canadian who likes to travel a lot and one way of doing this is by traveling and, and teaching English from country to country or settling in a country and building a career as an English teacher and then using that as your base to travel around within the region um, that you're working in. So if you're working in East Asia, Korea, China, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, um, almost all of East Asia is within easy reach, um, three, four, five hours of flying time. And you can be anywhere from Vladivostok, Russia, to Bali, Indonesia, um, to the Philippines, to India. You know, so it, it, it's conveniently central and allows you to do all of that. So, you know, that's sort of where I'm coming from. Along the way, um, from that first start in teaching English as a foreign language, I've added additional credentials. I've added a master's in TESOL, a master's in education. Um, and those have already been completed. And, um, so with all of that in mind, I would like to look at making a career out of EFL. You know, if, if you look on some of the Facebook groups and some of the teaching forums or, or EFL forums, they all tell you it's a dead-end career, don't do it, or it's a gap year exercise. Um, for many people, that's true. They come in and it's a gap year exercise. They've graduated from university, they want a year off. Uh, to travel around and, and see a little bit of the world before they settle into that traditional, you know, career and home and family sort of path that most people follow. For some of us, we've turned EFL into a career, um, both abroad and upon returning home. So let's take a look at it. For many people teaching abroad, is a fun and interesting way to see the world while making money too. Paying off student loans, saving for a Southeast Asia trip, or living abroad as an expat for a year of growth and exploration. Most teachers abroad have very finite goals and expectations. But what if you want to have a lifelong career in ESL? What if you don't want to live abroad only for a year or two just to come back home and start a new career? What if you want to become a professional EFL teacher when you return back to your home country? You're not alone. I've met many people around the world looking to do the same thing. A career in EFL, what does it look like? There are many different types of EFL and ESL careers and depending on your path you'll probably fall into one or more of these categories that I'm going to outline below. Let's have a quick look at the different types of career uh, lifestyles and see if it's a good fit for you. Uh, first, long-term ESL or EFL teacher abroad. Um, I've met a lot of these teachers in my time abroad many get great jobs at an international school uh, at an agency or university and become professional career teachers. Over time you'll have the opportunity to be promoted to department head 
uh, with great benefits and a nice salary to go along with it. The second group are the traveling ESL teacher or the traveling EFL teacher. While getting my master's degree abroad, I had a friend studying linguistics who was a traveling career EFL teacher. After spending a year in Taiwan and another year in mainland China, he planned to move to Estonia to teach for a few years. A traveler at heart, working as a teacher in new and exciting countries was his way of seeing the world. Number three, ESL teacher back home. Most people don't want to live abroad forever, and there are plenty of ESL teaching jobs back home. I know two separate teachers who have gotten jobs at universities back home teaching ESL classes to international students. Many universities require preliminary year for students who don't have high enough TOEFL or IELTS scores. You may work with students on general English or something more specific like college essay writing or English for specific purposes. Qualifications you need for a career in EFL. If you're looking for a long-term career in EFL, you may want more than just a 120-hour TEFL certificate. Here are a few different qualifications that you may want to consider depending on your intended career path. While we're looking at career paths, you might want to consider looking at where you want to go and then getting the credentials and qualifications to take you there. Um, I've met too many people who have gone out and done master's degrees in TEFL hoping to get into the international schools um, where what they really need is a postgraduate certificate in education or uh, a teacher's qualification um, or state or provincial licensing and a master's doesn't do that so they spent a lot of money and they still can't do what they wanted to do because it was the wrong qualification so look at what you want to do and then get the qualification that will get you where you want to be not the other way around okay the first one is teaching certification getting teaching certification back home can be very helpful for applying to prestigious international schools or EFL positions when you do return home if you don't have the time to take a career break consider getting your certification online you can also get certified in a different country. For example, I have an American friend who was teaching at an international school in China that followed the British curriculum. So he decided to become certified as a UK teacher online. Um, he did the postgraduate, the, the PCGEI uh, course, which doesn't actually give him full teacher certification back in the UK because he didn't have the practicum component so he doesn't have QTS but he does have the qualifications leading up to uh, that point. Um, number two, you can get a, a degree in English or linguistics. Um, most very competitive jobs are also interested in a relevant degree. If you don't want a teaching certification you can also consider picking up uh, an additional bachelor's or master's degree in English or linguistics, you can get your degree online, at home, or abroad. Um, and there are some pretty good uh, international programs and exchange programs for students wanting to do degrees in TEFL or English as an International Language or linguistics um, at universities um, outside of uh, the traditional home countries for most native English speakers. Number three is a degree in education with add-on certification in ESL. Um, elementary and secondary school teachers uh, back home who wish to teach ESL must have a degree in education with an add-on certification in ESL which can be obtained uh, through the local department of education or, or a local university. Many teachers who teach internationally but want to return home to continue teaching usually pursue this avenue 
Um, and this additional ESL add-on is much more intensive than your TEFL course. Um, and quite often it will count towards a master's degree or state certification. Relevant experience, number four, the longer you work in the job, the better you get at it, and the better opportunity you'll, or the, the, the greater the opportunity you'll have to move into better positions um, and having better schools looking to hire you based on the experience that you've gained um, and the qualifications that you can bring to the job both in the classroom as well as the academic qualifications on paper. Okay, so you want to get started? You know, go take a look at some of the, the job boards for uh, TEFL or ESL or EFL um, jobs around the world. Um, pick a country, pick a region, look at the jobs, find out what the requirements are specific to the country that you want to work in. Get your documentation ready, apply for jobs. Uh, it usually takes a couple of months from when you start your job search till the time you have a visa in your passport and you board your flight to your new career as an EFL teacher. Good luck and we'll see you when you get abroad.